<laughs> you know, each night I stand right over there. Mm -hmm. And I take the biggest stories of the day and I bake them into the gorgeous artisanal baguette of news that is my monologue. But <laughs> once in a while, I like to gather up all the end pieces, toss them in a generously buttered cake pan, maybe mix them with some egg batter, melted butter, sugar, cinnamon, and vanilla, and bake it into the soft, caramelly, raisin flecked news pudding that is my segment. <laughs> There it is. There it is. Like Old Faithful. Like a geyser of joy. Old geyser. Meanwhile, <laughs> we all know how much the White House liked to punish journalists by banning them from the press corps. Well, on Tuesday, a federal judge said, nope, order the White House to immediately restore the press credentials of Brian Karam, a Playboy columnist. <laughs> this story is a victory for journalists everywhere, although personally, I am unfamiliar with Mr. Karam's work because I only read Playboy for the nudity. <laughs> <laughs> meanwhile, meanwhile, Ben and Jerry's has a new flavor to highlight what it calls structural racism and a broken criminal justice system. No! I don't eat Ben and Jerry's to feel bad about our country's problems. I eat it to feel nothing as I descend into a sugar coma. <laughs> That's why... That's why I never enjoyed their flavor highlighting totalitarian regimes, <laughs> systemic brutaliberry. <laughs> mm. That's good, though. Yeah. That's good. Meanwhile, a photo of Ivanka Trump went viral yesterday. She was on an official visit to Colombia to meet with their vice president and national defense minister. But when wind hit her dress sleeves, it resulted in this photo. <laughs> I assume that is her natural defense when she feels threatened. <laughs> Sleeves up, neck pouch. Oh, 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 oh! Oh! But I couldn't help notice how much her arms sticking out of those green sleeve covers look like anthurium flowers. <laughs> which, when you think about it, is so appropriate because just like Ivanka, the anthurium flower is beautiful, elegant, and has no business representing the United States with foreign leaders. <laughs> Meanwhile, come on now. Come on now. Somehow, on New York City's East River, a single tomato plant has sprouted on a piling by the Brooklyn Bridge. <laughs> oh, great. The rats are gardening now. <laughs> We'll be right back with me.